the, the shaded area is where we really want to reduce as much fat as possible so that we can give her an hourglass. Dr. Bruce Chow, a plastic surgeon at the DMC Sinai Grace Hospital with 15 years experience in the field, is about to use an advanced surgical technique called high definition liposelection to sculpt a portion of this woman's body by removing unwanted fat deposits. In effect, to give her a pleasing new figure. This is part of the VASER. This is called the VASER probe. Most of us are familiar with liposuction, in which fat is actually sucked out of a certain area of the body. With liposelection, a specially designed ultrasonic probe is used to disintegrate and liquefy unwanted fat, as you can see in this animation. Most importantly, the fat is removed with minimal trauma to other tissues. The reason they call liposelection is that the ultrasound is selectively go after the fat cells, but not the vital structure like nerve or arteries. So therefore, the patient recovers faster and you can more selectively uh, treating the fat rather than anything else. And since liposuction is more tissue selective than the harsher techniques of traditional liposuction, it provides smooth, predictable results, and patients report much reduced pain, swelling, and bruising. The remarkable results with the body areas Dr. Chow is working on with this patient can be seen in these before and after photographs. Dr. Chow points out that liposuction can be used almost anywhere in the body, even with sagging breasts, to produce a lift. And that's exactly what this woman, Rebecca Wozniak, was looking for. I think every woman thinks they have one great feature. Some have legs, butts. Mine were my breasts. And after I had my daughter, I breastfed her for two years. I was mother nature, wasn't going to have bottle feeding child. And I was very unhappy after I breastfed her for two months. My breasts were sagging, and as I aged, gravity took hold, and I had sagging breasts, and I wanted to do something. But with a traditional breast lift, there is a significant amount of cutting and, of course, scarring. So Rebecca held off until she learned about Dr. Chow and the special liposuction technique he uses. What are you going to do with this patient? I don't really liposuction the breast tissue. I go after the fat tissue under the skin. My treatment is the ultrasound treatment of the skin itself. I'm not aiming at, at reducing the size. I'm actually aiming to tighten up the skin. So it's basically is skin treatment with the ultrasound probe. A patient undergoing this procedure will experience considerable pain and discomfort for two to three days. It can, can be controlled with medication and she could go back to a desk job in about a week to 10 days longer, depending on the amount of physical activity involved. I went in for the procedure on a Wednesday and went back to work on a Monday. And the result? I have fabulous 45-year-old looking breasts. They look great in a bra, they look great in a bathing suit, they look great in a dress. And I'm really, really happy with it. Dr. Chow makes clear this procedure is not for everybody. The key is patient selection. You find the right patient, find the right size and right, right skin tone, and the right patient, this is what they want. And I think that uh, the patients are very happy. I think he is an artist. I think he is a master of his craft. I think he is one of the leaders in his industry. Visit us here at dmc.org to learn more about ultrasound liposuction and other innovative plastic surgery techniques, or to make an appointment with Dr. Bruce Chow and his fine team at Sinai Grace Hospital. The DMC, we just think it's a better way to get better. I'm Emory King.